There is a point where the medications stop working. You start going through a whole cascade of, oh, well, we need to now add this antipsychotic and now we have to add a benzodiazepine and now we have to do this and now you're treatment resistant and now you're getting ECT and now you're, it's sickening. It's yeah. maddening that that is how our society progresses through mental health treatment. Yeah. That is the norm. And instead of going for that pill, I would strongly advise that you start looking at root causes, yes. your genetics, your labs, your lifestyle, your nutrition, your gut health, you know, your biology, like what is going on? Some traumas like from the past, like oh, trauma, the way you were raised. Oh, huge. Trauma, trauma is often an epigenetic trigger. Yeah. So trauma creates a cascade of inflammation in the body and there are there has been shown that trauma if you look at um, studies on ACE scores adverse childhood events yeah. and people with chronic disease you'll find that people with chronic like diseases like diabetes heart disease yeah. their ACE scores are pretty high so their their exposure to childhood adverse events which which are traumas okay actually cause in the long term chronic disease because of the inflammation and the epigenetic factors that happen when someone is traumatized, what happens in their, in their brain and how their body and their DNA responds to that. So that in and of itself um, is a huge, huge factor. And there are actually genes um, that will, that will show if you're more prone to having a, an issue with PTSD from a traumatic event. Some people are more resilient than others, right? Not everybody who experiences a traumatic event ends up with PTSD. Why is that? Well, it lies in your genes. And so that's another factor. But definitely exploring those things. Um, sometimes people um, have anxiety because they, they have low self-esteem. 